Ooh. I turned off my AC literally 45 seconds ago and I'm already sweating. I cannot wait for fall. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you have not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all of the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's just a total washout. Now I've got a lot to go over, a lot happened, <laughs> and I got a lot of things to say. So let's just jump straight in. I think the first thing I'm going to talk about is the new ABH palette. So this is the new ABH palette and okay, so <laughs> I've got a lot to say about this. I first saw like the concept of this palette, like I think on Twitter, and it didn't really have a lot about it. So I saw the palette and I was like, eh, it really doesn't look that enticing it looks fairly muted with all the shades and i honestly think if you bought the last four abh not even about the last four if you bought like one or two abh palettes you probably have this palette especially someone like me who has bought like every abh palette since well like every abh palette in the last like year and a half two years like so that's what i was thinking i've been on a big abh kick and i have been buying everything but i was looking at this and i'm like oh i really damn yeah, not interested but then i saw that this is actually a collab and who they were collabing with this is a collab with jackie Ina. so jackie Ina is problematic as hell especially for what she did to petty page and a, a smaller not as big scandal she had with the giveaway a little bit ago i'll link all the videos down below but essentially not only is she hella toxic on twitter she doesn't say anything to stop her stands from literally attacking and sending death threats to people um but she also accused another youtuber another black youtuber petty page without any proof without anything she accused her of hacking her account and stealing over a grand from her and she never actually apologized for this it got to the point where petty page was like almost about to like refinance her house to like fund a lawyer to go after her because she was like ruining her I can't believe. Honestly, she's a toxic as hell person, and I think I mentioned her briefly in my why I'm not supporting toxic people anymore, so I'm very disappointed that ABH is collaborating with her. Not only is it, like, less than a month after their last collab, but honestly, this whole thing is a hot mess and a half. It's a bad palette. It's a bad design. Honestly, the <laughs> I think it's so funny that the design looks like snakeskin because people do call her a snake <laughs> so it's snake skin uh, i'm just no no and even f like furthermore i do not like the way that this release was handled because a lot of her stands are going after people that are like oh the color story isn't that great it's a bit muted i'm not a huge fan of this and anyone who doesn't like this palette is automatically being called racist <laughs> what I've had it up to here with Jackie. She's an annoying person. She's a toxic person. She didn't deserve this collab, honestly. I, I'm just like, oh. So I'm a bit upset with ABH and their decision making because why? I'm not getting this, obviously. And I don't recommend you get this either. Oh, I don't even know where to begin with this one. So Jeffree Star is coming out with another collab with Morphe because Morphe can't go more than a month without a collab. And... I didn't watch the release video. I've been following everything like on social media. Um, so it's round two of their collab. I didn't buy round one. I'm not going to buy this one, quite obviously. But not only is this a new collab, uh, Jeffrey, I guess, is getting his own discount code, Morphe code, affiliate code, whatever, that everyone else has been shilling for who knows how long. And so people are like, oh, he's replacing Jacqueline Hill because she obviously can't sell anything anymore. But with the way that she's been acting on social media and with her last video, people are assuming that there is going to be another collab with Morphe. We'll see how that goes. But theoretically, from what we've been told, the proceeds from Jeffrey's code is going to all go to charity. I'll believe that when I see it. I really don't know. But I honestly don't think this collab is needed. It's an obvious money grab. And honestly, it looks like crap. Like seriously, this is the palette. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned this before, but Sigma just released a new eyeshadow palette 
and honestly it's just like meh but I feel that way about most of their palettes. I think the only palette I was really interested in was like their Warm Neutrals Volume 2. And that was only because it had like a green in it. Like if I took out the green, I'm like, I don't need this palette. Quite honestly, none of Sigma's like makeup has been really enticing. But their makeup brushes are some of my favorites. I honestly love their brushes. So brushes are great. None of their makeup has enticed me to, to buy it or venture out that far. Melt Cosmetics is coming out with some liquid lipsticks, and honestly, I'm pretty interested in the one shade that's called Golden, which is like this light pumpkin spicy gold kind of shade. That's the only one I'm really interested in. It looks really pretty, but uh, it's $19 plus shipping. I don't know. Are these going to be available at Ulta? From what I see here, it's only going to be available at MeltCosmetics.com. Is it? Is Melt in Alta or is it only in Sephora? I don't know. I don't know if I would place a whole website order just for one lipstick. And I got plenty. But that one shade did jump out to me. We're almost at fall. Like, hopefully. I cannot wait for the fall. Like, I want sweaters and I want pumpkin spice everything. And I just want pumpkins everywhere. And I want it to be spooky. <sighs> I just, I'm ready. I'm ready. Lime Crime is coming out with a new palette. It's like one of their mini palettes, and this is available at Ulta. It's 38 bucks, but it's the Venus Vivid mini palette, which is eight shades, and it's basically a big rainbow palette. I still haven't tried out Lime Crime, like, at all. <laughs> and I, I want to try out something. I think, I don't know if this is going to be it, though, because this looks kind of similar to the Crime Scene palette that I just got, and I don't think I need another vivid, like, rainbow palette right now. And I'm still pretty drawn to the Venus XL2, which is, like, their earth-toned, a lot of greens, olives in there. I think I'm more drawn to that palette than I am to this palette. I forgot if I already talked about this, but if not, it deserves another roast. This is the Neutral Mattes 2 by Viseart. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna be really honest. These shadows are only hyped up because of the hype. I've tried them out. They're decent, but they're not great. I definitely don't think they're worth the price. Like, I, I bought a couple of these palettes. I've got a bunch of them. I've decluttered a bunch of them. I don't think they're worth the price. I mean, I think to an extent, Natasha Denona could be worth the price. Like, I can see that there. But with these, no. I wouldn't recommend anyone get, get this or any of their palettes or pick them up. The only one I think, if you're interested, get their little mini ones. And they're still like $45 or $50 if you get the mini. I don't think they're really worth it. I've had them. I've decluttered them. Meh. All right, I think we found it. I think we found the one thing I'd be willing to maybe get from KKW Beauty. So, KKW Beauty is coming out with a matte collection which comes with like eyeliners, lip liners, and two eyeshadow palettes that are both all matte. The first one is like a warm neutral palette, but the second one is like the smoky palette. And if there's anything she's known for is like her neutral like face contour and everything else and then like a nice smoky eye. I would be willing to try out that smoky palette. That matte smoky palette yeah it's boring as hell but smoky eyes look good and to get a good matte smoky eye i've always had difficulty with because whenever i do a smoky eye i always just want to go like throw glitter all over the lid because of course why not so i think this is the first thing i'd be willing to buy but also this palette is uh 45 dollars plus shipping on probably Ugh. i don't know but it is the first thing from this brand that has actually, like, got me to think <laughs> about purchasing it. So, uh, well, we'll see. Persona Cosmetics is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. This is the new Identity 2 palette. I know their Identity 1, I think, went, like, semi, not viral, but, like, it had a bit of a cult following. Uh, but seeing this palette, not in, I'm not really into it. It, it seems a bit off. All the mattes are just like these neutral browns and a black. And then you've got shimmers in different colors. Like, it, this doesn't seem like really cohesive at all. I'm like looking at it trying to like make sense of it. But it, it just looks pretty jumbled. This is $42. 
So it looks like Zoeva is now going to be carried at Ulta Beauty. Zoeva was another brand that I was thinking of trying and I would constantly like go to their website and like look at everything, add a few things to my cart, but then like never check out because the price seemed a bit high. The products were never like I need this kind of like light, you know, like that kind of feeling. So I still haven't bought anything from them. But seeing that about Ulta, I'm really hoping they'll be in store. Uh, it'll be available online in August. It'll be in 302 stores in September. So I would love to see their products in store. And I do like to pick up more products at Ulta if I can because their reward system actually gives you like cash back to use at Ulta. So I would like to see about actually testing out some products and picking them up from Ulta. So another um, neon palette that's coming out. This is from Violet Voss. I still haven't picked up anything from Violet Voss and it seems like now everyone's coming out with like a neon rainbow palette. And this one just looks like eh. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like the Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette, which I do want to pick up. I'm going to pick that up. I just... I'm either going to place an online order with Ulta soon or I'm going to buy it in store. But the in-store I went to it was all sold out. And I want to buy, it's like the eyeshadow palette and like the three lipsticks. And I don't want to have to like mix and match and pick up what I want to get. I want to get just those. And so far everything's still been sold out. So I'll get that eventually. And because of that, I don't really need this. So I'm going to be very honest right here. I saw this picture from Too Faced and I thought that this was already a product. Apparently... <laughs> This is a new eyeshadow palette called the Gingerbread Extra Spicy. I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Someone on Twitter cracked me the hell up by saying, they said they retweeted this and they were like, extra spicy? What, do you mean like a teaspoon of pepper? Because what the hell about this is extra spicy? It looks so similar to their other gingerbread palette. I didn't even think this was a new palette. Oh my god. Oh, well, this is silly. Uh, d I don't need this. <laughs> extra spicy. Extra spicy, my ass. Oh, it looks like Fenty Beauty is coming out with, like, some brow products. It look like pencils, though. I used to really like using pencils in my brows, but recently I've really gotten into, like, powders, or even just using eyeshadow or, like, a pomade. I haven't used a pencil in, like, a while. So I don't think I would pick this up, but I think it's really cool that Fenty is really expanding. I cannot wait to try out that dewy foundation. I don't think it'll be great as we're finishing up the summer, but as we're getting into like fall and winter, I live for dewy foundation. So I cannot wait to try that one out. Looks like Kevin Aquan is releasing a new foundation. Looks like it's in like a kind of tub looking thing. This is the Foundation Balm, a full coverage foundation with an innovative silky balm texture. I don't know about that. It's $52. Honestly, I've only tried like one Kevin Aquan product that I've really liked and it was like their sculpting powder, which is amazing. I tried a mini out and I still have it. I don't think I would buy the full size. It's very pricey and I don't think I would ever really try this one out because of the way it's packaged. I don't, I don't think you can get a sample of it and I'm not about to buy a full size. And it just worries me that it's full coverage and it's packaged like this. Like, I don't know. Now this, I think I'm gonna pick up even though I just dogged on rainbow palettes. This is from Sugar Pill and this is, I think their first pre-made palette and it's a mini palette. This is the Fun Size Palette by Sugar Pill. It's $28 and it has nine matte shades and they're kind of rainbowy, kind of neon-y. But Sugar Pill is on my list of brands that I really wanted to try in 2019. And I hadn't gotten around to like making one of their big like 12 pan palettes. I really wanted to do that at Riley Rose because Riley Rose actually stocked their shadows in store, but they were always sold out. Like I really wanted to go in and look at each shadow and like make a palette. And whenever I went, I couldn't. Like most of their shadows are out of stock. Then that Riley Rose shut down, so it's no longer around. But I think this is a perfect way to try out their eyeshadows and their formula. So I think I'm gonna pick this up. I don't think I'm gonna get it right when it releases. It releases August 13th, so it's already out by now. I don't think I'm gonna get it right away. I hope it doesn't really sell out super right away. I think this is a permanent item. I, it doesn't say anywhere that this is limited edition, so I'm really hoping this is permanent and they keep it in stock so I can get it in like a few months or a few weeks, we'll see. Ooh, now this is pretty exciting. So e.l.f. is coming out with some new eyeshadow palettes and let's see. Oh, I think it's only one eyeshadow palette. Well, it's called Earth and Ocean and it's one of their new 
packaged kind of bigger eyeshadow palettes and it's like a blue green palette I really want to pick this up. I really want to see if I can find these in Target because I've noticed that Target has been, well, my local Target, has been putting up some bigger, like, elf display. So I would love to see this in store, but pretty excited. I, I'm thinking maybe looking at it, I think there's maybe too many shimmers to mattes in here, but I kind of want this. It's only $14, and if I can get it in store, you don't have to pay shipping or anything, but mm, I want to try this. Okay, so we're not at the very end, but I got to start getting ready to go to work here in a little bit. So we're going to cut off the video for today there. Let me know what you thought, as always, down below of all these products. Overall, I'm not very impressed, especially with that collab with ABH, but... There's literally going to be a new makeup release, like, every week, every day, so... It won't be long before we have something else. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.